Welcome to a quick video to shortly talk about how to analyze actuals versus a budget in four simple steps. What we need is a budget template in Excel, which includes the following data from the profit and loss statement. We need a schedule with the budget and we need a schedule with the actual data. If available, we should also use the figures from the last year also here budget and actuals now what we need to do is we need to update um, this so the budget we fill in at the beginning of the year and the actuals we fill up as we go if available on a monthly basis now as we are updating our budget during the year with the actual results achieved we want to track how we are we doing compared to the initial budget for this we need to compare to the uh, initial budget targets if we look at our pnl there are five uh, areas where we want to know how our budget targets are met these are the revenues the gross profit margin operating expenses, EBITDA and the EBITDA margin. We can either compare just the last month. How did we compare? So you can see here, we did not fully achieve uh, our budget, but if we look at a year to date uh, basis, actually we are pretty much or pretty, pretty close in achieving our budget. Then in order to better analyze and understand what's going on, we should ask ourselves, we should analyze our results in four steps. Step number one is we have to analyze the results compared to the initial budget on a monthly basis. How are we doing? Which months are lower? Which months are higher than our budget and why? For this, we can track the revenues and the EBITDA. And once we have identified which months are most interesting, we can go and dive into the detail on the detailed schedules and see what's what's going on. We have here a set of tables which we can which we can go through. I will not go through this at this at this time. Then the next step is to also understand on a year-to-date basis uh, where which time periods did we. Uh, are we above the budget or below and what's going on in terms of the revenues and in terms of the EBITDA. Step number three is to compare versus the last year. If last year data is available, we can do that either by comparing to the actuals or the budget, depending on what data source uh, is available. Interesting to note is what is the difference between this year and last year and why. Then the step number four is to think about um, how does an updated budget look like. So here we are basically doing a mix between actuals and, and the forecast. As you can see, we are using here about 10 months of actual data. And then we have two months left where we need to decide how we're, how we're going to forecast these two months. In this case, what we can do is we can either forecast them by taking the average actuals of the first uh, 10 months, or we can just say, okay, we are going back to the budgeted figures. This should give us then uh, these results here, or we could also go to, for instance, to the uh, last year's uh, results or last year's budget. So we can get an updated forecast and we can then also compare it to our initial initial budget. So these are the four steps in my view, which, um, which one should uh, go through when analyzing a budget. Important then also is to compare. Uh, we can compare either month by month. We can look what's the difference. How did we get from a for instance, here, if we look at the month of April, we look at uh, this year, either the actuals in this case, and last year, same months, the actuals. And we can see from last year's how we get from here to here. In this case, we had some... Ha Actually, I should just do it the other way around. I just see it. It's a, better, a bit better uh, readable. So we're starting here from last year. We have higher revenues, but then we also have higher direct costs, higher OPEX. Overall, we are actually 
uh, we could increase the EBIT there and this bridge explains it how. And then we can also uh, go line by line and see where exactly were the variances. So all this analysis is much easier to perform when focusing on these four steps when analyzing a budget. I hope this gave you a, a, an idea how to analyze and track your next uh, budget. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and follow our channels to get notified of new videos. Please also visit our website efinancialmodels.com. A link to the budget template used is included in the description below. Many thanks for watching.